but what is it specifically about the internet? I mean, anybody can say anything. Uh, yeah. And it all adds up to what? I mean, it seems to me there's no, there's nothing cohesive about it in the way that there was something cohesive about the, re the youth revolution in music. Oh, but the, absolutely. And because I think that we, uh, at the time, up until at least the mid-70s, really felt that we were still living under the, uh, 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 or in the guise of a, a single and absolute uh, created society where there were known truths and known lies and there was no kind of duplicity or pluralism about the things that we believed in. That started to break down rapidly in the 70s and the idea of a, a duality in the way that we live. In, in, there are always two, three, four, five sides to every question. That this singularity disappeared and uh, that I believe has produced such a medium as the internet which absolutely establishes and shows us that we are living in total fragmentation. I don't think we've even seen the tip of the iceberg. I think the potential of what the internet is going to do to society, both good and bad, is unimaginable. I think we're actually on the cusp of something exhilarating and terrifying. It's just a tool, though, isn't it? No, it's not. No. No, it's an alien life form. What do you think, I mean, when you think then about the Is there life on Mars? <laughs> yes, it's just landed here. But yeah. that's, it's a simply a different delivery system there. You're arguing about something more profound. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the, the, the actual context and the state of content is going to be so different to anything that we can really envisage at the moment, where the interplay between the user and the provider will be so in simpatico, it's going to, it's going to crush our ideas of what mediums are all about.